The nuclear reactor at Purdue University may be small, no more than 10 kilowatts. But this is the little reactor that could, could change the world. It is in the vanguard of a big transformation for its much larger cousins. This type of facility hasn't been seen before in the nuclear space. The PER-1 reactor, now in its 58th year, is outfitted with fully digitized instrumentation and control. It's a first in the U.S. It gives us additional way of monitoring and analyzing the condition of nuclear power plants. That was not possible before. Reactor supervisor Clive Townsend showed me how the updated control panel gives operators much greater situational awareness. Is it more information than you could have gleaned from the analog system? It certainly is. I have an infinite number of screens that I could put in. I can have high level information and then allow the operator to dial into that as necessary. We want to demonstrate that this system is reliable, safe, and can do a much better job than the analog systems. Almost a decade in the making, the $1.2 million digitization of PER-1 was funded by the Department of Energy and approved by the Nuclear Regulatory Commission. But bringing a nuclear reactor online in the virtual world carries its own set of risks. The threat of cyber mischief is on their minds here as well. We create new vulnerabilities, but we can create cyber physical protection systems to build on the old safeguards and protect them in ways that are invulnerable to the dangers of connectivity. They believe the pros outweigh the cons, that digital reactors, big data analysis, and ultimately artificial intelligence will lead to safer, more efficient atomic power in the future. If we had a very intelligent data analytics or artificial intelligence system that can tell us, okay, in this scenario, it may be best to choose, go to this route, then, of course, human can make a judgment and decide. It can reduce, I think, significantly the error that human can make. PER-1, it seems, is the perfect place to push nuclear power from its analog past into a digital future. For Purdue University, I'm Miles O'Brien.